In this video, we are going to learn about record level logs in Centerprise. When you design a flow inside Centerprise and you run the flow, there will be some records those will fail to pass through the data flow. There will be some records those will be written to the destination. However, they will have some warnings attached to them and most of them they will pass. With that assumption, you would like to know that what is happening with, with each of these records when they are going to go to the destination. And that's where the record level log comes into picture. To use a record level log, you will go to logging and data quality and drag and drop a record level log onto the designer. In this example, I have a very simple data flow where I am transferring some customers data from an Excel sheet to a database table. However, I have put some data quality checks in between. Let's go ahead and examine those. So if you look at the data quality, I have added two rules. One is checking if the region for the customer is specified or not. If it is not specified, in that case, it is just acting as a warning. It, the rule is a warning, that means it is going to carry the warning, however it is going to be processed. Second rule is a check for the fax number. And this one is a proper error message, so that means if the record fails this rule, it is not going to be processed further. So we have added two rules, one is a warning, one is a proper er error. And uh, after passing through these data quality rules, the data is going to be written into the destination database table. Now, when we run this data flow, we would like to know that which records failed, which records passed, and which records ended up passing but with uh, warnings. So let's go ahead and drag and drop a record level log onto the designer. And you can see here it has no members. So I will do again uh, drag and drop the output from the destination onto the log so that it is getting data for all the fields because you want to collect information about all the fields inside the record. And let's go ahead and, and look at the properties of the log. So it is asking about a location where it is going to write the log into. So let's go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call it customer log and save it. And then you can specify the log level. And in this case, I'm going to say all other options are just the errors, just the warnings, errors and warnings, and nothing. In this case, I'm going to ask the application to collect all the information about all the records, whether it is the errors or the warnings or success. This option is uh, about stop logging after a certain number of records. This option is given so that you're not creating a huge log file where all the records are failing. So the threshold, it is put as 1000, you can manually change it. I click on OK and my log is ready. Let's go ahead and run this data flow. So this data flow runs and in the trace you can see that it has uh, ran the flow and it has written the record level log to this location. And this is the location we specified inside the properties of the log. Let's go ahead and have a look at the log by clicking on this link and it opens the log inside Enterprise. You can see here these are the records and uh, the colors are showing that what has happened with each of the records and the very first column is status you can see here the ones in the red they are they ended up with errors and uh, the ones with the orange color they ended up with the warnings and the green ones they succeeded so if you expand any of the trees you can see here what has happened it will tell you that for this record both rules failed the region and facts both failed and it has a warning and an error and uh, you can see here corresponding messages and you can obviously see that there is no region specified and no facts specified that's why it failed however if you look at one of the warning ones you can see here the region is not specified you can see here the region is blank however there is a fax number with the green ones of course there is uh, all the data available that's why it, uh, it passed through there is a region specified and the fax number is also specified so that's how the application shows you what records ended up in errors, in the warnings, or the pass completely.
at the top there is a filter where you can uh, filter uh, just the error ones or you, you can filter uh, success ones or you can filter just the warning ones let's go ahead and click at all and uh, you can see here uh, it shows just one page at a time so if you want to see next page you can click on next it will take you to the next page if you want you can search by typing anything inside this box say for example I want to search uh, um, for this customer FOLIG I'll type that in and I can look for that it will show me that that particular customer so you can do search as well and uh, you can do search as the regular search or you can do search by the regular expression as well so if I want to use regular expression I will type in my regular expression here and click on search regular expressions so that's how you can uh, find any data inside this as well so this is how the record level logs work inside this enterprise thanks for watching this video